In this video, I'll be going through all of the different Bleach PlayStation 2 games that were released. There's a total of four games that we'll be talking about. These were all released only in Japan, so if international fans wanted to play them, then you needed to have imported them in. So the first game we're actually going to be talking about is called Bleach Erabarashi Tamashi, which translates to Bleach the Chosen Soul. So we'll launch this game and have a look at the intro gameplay, uh, check the controls out and see whatever storyline is actually featured within it. Now, because these games are obviously in Japanese, I can only convey to you a limited amount of knowledge, so we'll be checking out the gameplay, seeing how accessible and enjoyable these games are, if they actually hold up to the test of time. Yeah, let's begin by launching the first game that we're going to be talking about. So this is Bleach the Chosen Soul, a Japanese-only PlayStation 2 game that's based on the Bleach anime and manga. So this game was released in Japan on the 4th of August 2005. Uh, the intro song to this game is actually D Techno Life sung by Overworld, which as you know is the second Bleach anime opening song. So I can only show you some of the opening or talk over it because of copyright reasons, but uh, we'll see if there's any new animation featured here. Not really seen any of this. It, Ichigo's battle against Byakuya. Yeah, Bleach the Chosen Soul. Yeah, this is all original animation here. I've not seen any of this before. So I'll probably skip through all the intro songs because you can check them out on YouTube. And I don't want to get copyright claimed on this video. There you go. Bleach, Erebarashi, Tomashi. So this features the return of the anime voice actors who actually voice all of their respective characters here. Uh, the game also does have its own generic background music, uh, which isn't from the anime. So we'll just go into new game. So this game is a beat em up game and it can get very repetitive and boring from what I've heard. It features all of these uh, cutscenes also. So we've got three modes here, mission select, state and tutorial. So we'll just jump into mission select and see how the game is like. We'll uh, jump into the first mission. So we've got character to choose from Ichigo, Orihime, Rukia, Uryu, and Chad. Obviously, we're going to pick Ichigo. Probably have Uryu accompanying us. Got a similar mechanic to Dragon Ball where you roll the joystick on the load screen. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this is uh, janky. Okay, so squares to attack. You've got the ability to heavy attack with triangle. A little bit slower. Camera is really, really difficult to control. I think it's because it's not inverted, so it's pretty hard to get used to. I'm not sure how to change that control as well. So it's a beat em up game with all of these hollows that you need to take out. Wow. <laughs> Upon first impression, the game has not aged well in terms of graphics. I'll say this a lot. There was an attempt here to make a Bleach game. There was definitely an attempt. I mean, some of the mobile games look much better than this. I mean, look at... Let's have a close-up of Ichigo's face here. <laughs> wow. My whole world has changed. Okay, so you've got a variation of different types of hollows. Uh, it's all the same enemy, really. Yeah, the game features a lot of running around and taking out hollows. There's not much variety to the gameplay. Okay, we've got a, a portal there. I think it was sealed until we defeated all the hollows. Now we can get through it. Very, very very repetitive and boring to be honest with you. I'm just literally smashing square my controller and doing nothing else. And you've got some accessories here as well. R1 is to block, heavy attack with triangle, normal attack with square. I think circle is somewhat of a special attack. So I can attack several opponents at once with circle. I think X is very similar to circle where you can attack more than one enemy at once with X and with circle. There you go. Okay, and L1 is to dash. I can't really dash and attack at the same time. There's just so much of this. We've got so many of these enemies just to fight through. You can't really move on with the story until we've beaten them. I think every new stage you go to, your health in the bottom left corner replenishes. Wow, okay, now even bigger hollows. I think, are these the bosses for this stage? I did read that the bosses that you encounter here are no different than the actual normal enemies that you face off against. It is slightly difficult, but to be honest, if you have enough health to see us through this fight. Even having a look at some of the scenery here, I mean, it's, it is very true to Bleach. It's got the similar the setting seems like the graveyard that Ichigo and his family went to during the whole Grand Fisher story arc. Cleared the first mission, congratulations. How do we do? Probably going to be getting uh, F ranking for this. B, not too bad. We'll play a bit of mission two and then we'll move on to the next game. But as you can see, it's a very repetitive game that lets you take your anger out on hollows. So I know that some of the boss battles that feature within this game have some of the captains of the Gote 13 or other additional characters from Bleach like Urahara and such. So the game doesn't actually have any of the characters Shikai or Bankai transformations. Um, and yeah, like I said before, it's a perfect example of there was an attempt made to make a Bleach game. Uh, the quality of it is questionable. Yeah, so we're on the second mission. Again, exactly the same enemies. Nothing much has changed. It's these really low level, low tier hollows. I can't actually remember if these hollows featured within the actual anime or the manga. Really, really lazy, repetitive gameplay, I'll tell you, man. Not really seen any other type of hollow, just seen these two, one that flies and one that's on the ground. Again, what can you do? You can't complain. The game's from 2005. Like I mentioned, we've got mobile games that look much better than this now. 
Bleach, the chosen soul. The chosen soul who has to put themselves through this torment. So far, it's not looking good for Bleach games on the PlayStation 2. This is the first entry, remember? Oh my god. Oh, this is never ending. They're all coming, they're coming out from this bloody portal. They're coming straight out of Hueco Mundo. Okay, we've cleared the stage and we can move on to the next part. The camera is terrible. Literally, and the controls of the camera really don't make it easy for you. Janky, terrible camera. If I had to give this game a rating, it's very difficult. It wouldn't make it over 5 out of 10. Exact same, you know, group of hollows. I wouldn't mind if there was some variety to the actual enemy, but it's just the same two character models repeated over and over again. I don't know the exact number of missions that this game has, but if this is the limit of the gameplay, then I feel sorry for anybody who spent, you know, any money on importing this, if you're a Bleach fan back in 2005. So this is Bleach, the chosen soul. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next uh, Bleach game now. The second Bleach game that we're going to be talking about is Bleach Hanatareshi Yabo, which is Bleach Unleashed Ambition. It's a little different to this game. Bleach Unleashed Ambition was released on the 16th of February 2006. It's a tactical adventure RPG game that features an exclusive side story, one that was not seen within the actual anime or the manga. So similar to the last game, the intro for this game features Bleach opening three from the anime, which is obviously Ichiru no Hana sung by the band High and Mighty Color. So yeah, with this game, you'll encounter characters from the original anime and manga along with a lot of hidden and secret content that you can actually unlock. So it's an action-adventure RPG game with an all-original story. This is this is where my knowledge of the Japanese language is really showing off. Subarashi, quit speaking that fake-ass Japanese shit. Nani? So again, like with the last one, I'll show you some of the intro, but can't really show all of it because of copyright reasons. It is uploaded on YouTube if you want to see all of it yourself. So the intro for this game features scenes from the actual anime and scenes that were originally created for this opening in particular. So Bleach, Unleashed Ambition, the first action-adventure RPG game of its kind. The second Bleach game on the PlayStation 2, released in 2006. So a new game. So thankfully a lot of this dialogue is very easy to skip. We don't really understand it and it's probably just gonna repeat through the intro of the story so we'll just skip through all of it. I'll tell you at least the Ichigo's model looks a little bit better than that first game. So the gameplay in this one you have up to six characters that can take part in battles. Thankfully a lot of that dialogue is really easy to skip. Uh, after doing some research I did learn that the camera in this game is really bad. It features game original background music so none of the music from the anime has returned. Apparently some of the music in this game is really annoying also so let's just have a look at what we've got here to play with. We've got Ichigo's room here. To be honest, I think it's rendered quite well. I think they've done a good job here. A skateboard TV. Rukia hiding in there. Look at the bed. See the Quincy cross on the bed. Okay, let's have a look. Wow, they've rendered the entire house. I would really have been fascinated with this if I had this as a kid. So far, I've not got anything to complain about the game, but not really played through anything at the moment. Skipping through dialogue, really. Character models look good. The environment looks nice. It looks like Persona, but if it was Bleach, I'm gonna skip through all of it with Circle. So we're finally in the game. So we've got a map here on the right. My God, check this out. I can't really move around the camera. It's in fixed position. What is this? <laughs> These streets remind me of uh, Kotekyo Hitman Reborn. Looks like a lot of the hijinks that happened in the early episodes took place in these streets. You know, going to people's houses. Whoa! Ichigo breaking in. So you can go into actual people's homes in this little manhole. I wish this game was translated in some way. I wouldn't mind playing through an in-game exclusive story, no matter how bad it is. I'm sure it'd be better than uh, setting through the entire Bount Filler arc. What are these manholes? So let's uh, check this house out. <laughs> Where is the gameplay? When can I actually fight someone? Let's just go to where they're telling me to go to. It doesn't help that you've got this really bad aerial view as well. And the music appears to be a lot of comedy within this game. If any of you played this and you know the story, let me know in the comments. Literally, the handle of the sword went through the guy's head. This is supposed to be a tactical adventure RPG. Where are the tactics? Okay, now I'm going back up here now. I was initially impressed when we uh, were inside Ichigo's home there. We saw his character model in his room. But the actual map of Karakura Town here is just looks painfully bad. I play until we actually get to a fight. Okay, we've got a hollow, finally. We're gonna get some gameplay. Ichigo's in his uh, Shinigami attire. Do we have to look for the hollow? Don't know where on earth I'm supposed to be going here. What? Oh, not too bad. You got a wider map now. So we're in South Karakura Town, now in West Karakura. This is really good. This is great for anybody who doubted that Bleach has uh, world building. If this fight is terrible, I'm stopping. We're starting the next game after this. If this fight is terrible. They're really making me work hard to find this hollow. Is it going to be like located in a park or something? Okay, like any RPG, we've warped into a battle screen. Let's go. It's turn-based attack. This is Final Fantasy VII. With the sword as well, it's, Ichigo is just cloudier. Especially with Ichigo's like oversized Zanpakuto. Alright, first enemy defeated. 
if this is the limits to this game so obviously it's got a story taking place which i don't understand it's got janky ass graphics <laughs> character model for this ichigo looks better than the first game so i'll give it that yeah that was a terrible fight i'll give it a solid attempt to play this game but it's not aged well in terms of graphics in terms of gameplay and i don't really understand the story if it, if it was one thing if i understood the story i'd play through it but so yeah that was bleach unleashed ambition released in 2006 not much more else i can say really if you want to check the game out it's there at least check the opening out opening looked pretty cool now we're going to be moving on to a series of games called blade battlers now i like to refer to the bleach blade battlers games as the better half of the bleach playstation 2 games so these are a series of 3d cell shaded fighting games these are only available on the playstation 2 only released in japan featured the original anime voice actors so there were two games released for the bleach blade battlers series so the first game, Bleach Blade Battlers, was released on the 12th of October 2006. This game features 23 playable characters, some of which can be unlocked later. So the Blade Battlers games actually feature an extensive battle mode, where you can unlock more of these characters that I'd mentioned, which is through beating several different challenges. Uh, some of the missions you have to perform under certain circumstances, such as time limits. Okay, I have some hope for Blade Battlers. So the gameplay of Blade Battlers is similar to Smash Bros, in that you have up to four players taking part in a arena brawler now these games are much more fleshed out than the first two that we spoke about so yeah let's begin by going into the uh, battle mode and uh, getting a feel of this game so you've got uh, five characters to choose from similar to the first game chosen soul so we'll go with Ichigo and we'll face off against uh, Uryu I guess uh, we'll fight outside Ichigo's house here <laughs> what's up with his eyes <laughs> okay at least you can jump in this game that's a plus square attack triangle appears to be a heavy attack Oh, at least I can uh, actually attack while jumping in the air. Okay, I can block with R1. Dodge! We should have really blocked that. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. This is actually, this is fun. Damn, really high double jump. If I had this as a kid, I'd have had a lot of fun with this. This is already better than those first two games. So now we'll try a situation where it's two on two. Me and Uryu versus Chad and Rukia. Okay, let's go. Okay, now we're getting a real feel of the game here. Four player arena brawler. This is uh, very similar to Smash Bros. Wow, this is, uh, this is a lot of fun. God damn it, Chad. Ooh. Now if only he was that powerful within the anime. You can tell Chad uh, group to be a boxer. Look at his fighting stance. Oh, Chad's got a special attack. Oh my god. Seems like a power up, okay. More than a special attack. I recommend this game. This is fun. I just want to take Chad out. That, oh, that's the binding spell that uh, Rukia used in the first episode. Get ready for this. Oh, sick. Oh god, no. Chad. Chad is the underdog of this game. God damn it! <laughs> what, a, what a piece of shit. Okay, this game is a little difficult. You know what? This will be so much fun to play with friends. If you had four of you around, you just play this back in the day. Oh! Wave of Getsuka Tensho there. Have we taken out Rukia? Okay. Two on one against Chad. Alright, we're gonna deal with him. Come on, Chad. Breakout done. That was uh, that was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. So this game actually features 23 playable characters, but the sequel to this, Bleach Blade Battlers Second, features a total of 36 characters with 16 stages and three modes to play through. So I'll play through the second game and actually get more of a feel of this Blade Battlers series. So this is Bleach Blade Battler Second. It was released on the 17th of September 2007. So the most recent and final PlayStation 2 Bleach game. So there's quite a few different modes within this game. There's story mode, battlers mode, and free play mode. In this video, we'll just play through free play mode and get a feel of this game. It should be similar to the first one, I'm hoping. So again, original video animation with its own unique song. It's not using any of the anime opening music. So we can actually watch through this one. Some pretty cool original animation here. So Byakuya, Kimpachi, you've got Hitsugai, the Sparta. This is really cool, especially if you've never seen any of this before. Wow. Oh, it's your boy, Aizen. This is epic. Bleach, Blade Battler second. Cool cover, you've got Ukiora, Grimjao, Aizen, the Vizards on either side. Thankfully, this one has the English name above the Japanese. <laughs> 
so we can work our way through this. We'll go to free battle, similar to the first one. You get to play in a four player arena brawler situation. So we'll have two on two. Yeah, there you go. So from the onset of the game, you've got 14 characters to actually play with. So I'm gonna be Ichigo here and accompanying me will be Renji and we'll just do Grimjow with the army. Wow, a few more stages to actually choose from. The first one you could initially only pick through two, but this one you've actually got nine stages to pick through. So we'll fight. You know what, let's try the Soul Society. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on there. Wow, you got the hell butterfly. <laughs> Renji's got some weird movement there. Character models are much better here. Let's go. Wow, Yami's big. This is an improvement from the first one. So it's literally just smashing square and triangle. I tell you, man, the Espada are not so bad after all, are they? Wow, okay. Now, I like these cutscenes. These are pretty fun. Saro. Okay, my special. There you go. Yo, this is cool. This is cool. Yeah. Okay, this game does have destructible environments as well. As destructible as PlayStation 2 can be. This is so enjoyable. Grimjow. Yo, that's cool. This must have been before Grimjow's second release. You've got the uh, Menace Grande in the back there now, with a few Gargantas there also. Get Bankai again. Yo, that is sick. Oh, Yami's out, okay. It's literally like Smash, where you smash them off the stage. Wow, me and uh, Renji both in Bankai here. This is a fun game, man. Two and one against Grimjow. He's gonna regret ever asking for that rematch. Renji, what the hell? Okay, this game. This game was worth putting myself through those first two terrible games. Breakout. That was so fun. This is such a good game. So, Bleach, Blade Battler Second takes the cake, man. So, I know that Bleach had a long series of games on the PSP called Heat the Soul. This reminded me a lot of the Heat the Soul games. Really good game. Really, really fun game to play as well, Blade Battlers. So, yeah, that was all of the Bleach PlayStation 2 games. What did you think about all of them? Which one was your favorite? And have you played any of these before? I'd love to hear all of your opinions in the comments down below. So, definitely let me know what you thought about all of these games. And if you want to see more gameplay videos like this one then leave a comment because there's loads of Nintendo DS Bleach games, there's PSP games also, we've even got a PS3 Bleach game, so if you want to see me covering all of them then let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then please consider supporting my channel on Patreon. I have multiple tiers with the rewards including access to an exclusive Discord server, video scripts, as well as being the first to know about unreleased upcoming videos. Thank you for your time and whatever you choose to contribute, I will appreciate and it will mean a lot to me.